welcome to another edition of the Battleground series. I'm Ray Torres, and today we are going to be talking about the Mega Brawl. That was the third event from Regional Championship Wrestling, the first one of 1997, where we are going to crown the very first RCW champion. But before we go to the two matches that we're going to include in this video, we're going to take a look at the bodacious pretty boy who was still doing the sweet thing in the time as he goes up against Steve Carino. Now, Steve Carino would go on to be an ECW champion and was uh, also at a couple of RCW events, but this is the time where Steve Carino got his chance to see the bodacious pretty boy in action. Let's take a look.
Bodacious Pretty Boy gets the win over Steve Carino. And since we're talking Mega Brawl, this is when the Bodacious One changes again. That's right. He has a new persona that he is going to unveil at the Mega Brawl. And when we get to that, I'll let you know why that change was made. So since we're talking Mega Brawl, let's take a look at the DVD package for the Mega Brawl. All right, let's take a look at a Matt Classic where you're going to see former WWE star. He was a jobber in the WWE. Back then it was called WWF. Israel Martias as he squares off against the unknown Dark Angel. Unknown areas. His weight is unknown. The Dark Angel. His opponent, hailing from Umaca, Puerto Rico, weighing 265 pounds, the Puerto Rican heavyweight champion, Israel Matia. It's international world-class championship wrestling. There's a look at the Puerto Rican heavyweight champion, a very good friend of mine, Israel Matia. Hello, wrestling fans. Brian Webster here at Brickside this week, along with my broadcast colleague. Calling all the action with me here for this one is Bart Rader. And Bart, we welcome with open arms Israel Matia to International World Class Championship Wrestling. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it looks like he has a hell of a weight limit over top of him. I'll tell you what, I've seen this Dark Angel wrestle before, and he, he's got some potential. I'll tell you what, the Dark Angel is the type of guy, he'll sign to meet anybody. I don't care if the guy is nine feet tall or nine inches tall. Now look at that, there's a quick move by the Dark Angel, and this quickness may be able to uh, get the best of Israel Matia for uh, a time here in this contest. Well, I don't know. I don't know, being a Puerto Rican heavyweight champion, it takes a lot to be the heavyweight champion of the world. I'll tell you what. With the weight he's got over this kid, who knows? I'll tell you what, uh, so far I don't think he knows what to make of this Dark Angel. The Dark Angel uh, really uh, getting the best so far, as far as quickness goes. Oh, there's the collar elbow tie-up. The big 250, uh, 265 pound Israel Matia. Here's the duck underneath. Whoa, baby, there's a body slam for you. 
Rio goes up again. Look. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Ooh, that looked like a major power slam there. I'll tell you what. Anybody who take one of them sure be hurting in the morning. Matt Mayers is man over and goes for the chin lock. Referee going to check and make sure it's not a choke. I don't think so. This guy's got a lot of integrity Integrity here. Uh, he's Puerto Rican heavyweight champion. I've seen this guy. This guy's wrestled everybody. And he's come out victorious. Israel Matias says he's made it here into International World Class Championship Wrestling. One, because he knows the fans here are absolutely terrific. And two, he knows the competition is fierce. And that's what he's looking for. So he's going to be defending that belt uh, quite frequently here in the IWC BW. There's a poke right in the eyes by Israel Matias. I'll tell you what, that's quite unusual to see from Israel. You'd expect it from the Dark Angel, but Puerto Rican heavyweight champion probably dishing out a little bit of uh, Dark Angel's punishment there. There's a whip into the ropes, and whoa, whoa, whoa he just 360 and uh, just flopped down to the canvas. This Dark Angel is certainly not going to be in very good shape come tomorrow morning. I thought I saw that Dark Angel's head fly off when he did that. Holy mackerel. Again into the chin lock now, and the Dark Angel very wisely stepping underneath the, uh, sliding underneath, I should say, the bottom rope, and uh, looking for a break in the hold. However, it's Matia who brings him up and gives him a big headbutt. Ooh. Dark Angel whipped to the ropes. Whoa! Oh, again, another 360 coastline by Israel Matia, and make the three count. I'll tell you what, put the fork in this one. This kid is done. Oh, you got that right. There's your winner, Israel Matia. What and power shown by this big guy. We will be back with more international world-class championship wrestling. It's Mega Brawl time. We're going to do one of the matches from the big event in 1997. But let me set this up for you. At the Say No to Drugs event, the Pomingo Kid Pinky came out victorious over the Purple Haze. And the reason being that Dr. Johnny Wildside came out and interfered in the match. Well, Purple Haze left the RCW at this point. And then his friend James, the postman Kaiser, was not happy with what Dr. Wildside did. So he asked for a match to go against him at the Mega Brawl. And this is where we're going to get ready for the Mega Brawl matchup. It's Dr. Johnny Wildside and Nurse Vanessa Feelgood as they go up against the postman, James Kaiser. There's the bell, and we're underway. we got a nice collar-elbow tie-up. Dr. Johnny Wildside. I think on the strength, it's going to be Wildside. So James Postman, he's going to have to do what he can in the speed department. Here we go with another lockup. There we go, Johnny Wildside working on the arm immediately. Nice kip up. Back down again, and another one of those. Johnny had to fight to get that one, and there he drops the legs on the arm. Interesting matchup right here. Both of these men will be involved in that battle royal. And here comes Playboy, Jonathan Lovestruck. He's outside the ring. I have no idea why he's out there. I do know earlier today, James Postman Kaiser and Jonathan Lovestruck had some words but Lovestruck doesn't have a manager's license, so it doesn't belong out there. And while that's going on, the wild side is in the ropes on the corner, beaten up on James Kaiser. I don't know what the differences between uh, James Kaiser and Lovestruck are. Referee allowing Lovestruck to stay out there. Postman with a gut shot, and another, and there's a rake in the eye by Johnny Wildside. I'll get with it today, I gotta drink some coffee, I'll be up. 
An elbow by Wildside. Wildside wasting a lot of time talking to the fans at ringside. And there goes a super kick by James Kaiser. I don't know if Wildside took James Kaiser too lightly, but there's a cover. One, no. Looked like Wildside was up at the count of one. There's a kick by Wildside. And the nurse is on the apron and she needs to get down. And while that's going on, you can see Wildside beating up on James Kaiser on the ropes. Looks like it's gonna set up for a suplex. Yep, that's what it was. One, no. And now Lovestruck is on the apron, chatting with the referee. He needs to get down from that apron. There's a kick by Wildside. And there, James Kaiser switches it, and he's going for a couple of punches and kicks in the corner. Sends him into the corner, and a splash. Snap mares him down. And now look at the nurse, she's on the apron once again. There's too many people out in the ring. Referee trying to get an order in here. I think James Kaiser is making a very big mistake by messing with the nurse. Definitely. Wildside outside the ring now, talking to the nurse. And here comes Lovestruck. <laughs> Referee, let's get this guy in the ring so we can continue this matchup. Are we getting a count? Referee talking to Wildside. He's outside with the nurse and love struck. And now James Kaiser is coming outside and he's attacking Wildside on the outside of the ring. Look at the nurse, she jumped on the top of James Kaiser. We've got pandemonium out here. The ringside attendant is talking, letting the fans know, like if they can't see it. Outside tosses Kaiser back into the ring. Too many J's in this one. We got Jonathan Lovestruck, Johnny Wildside, James Kaiser. Oh, I throws a backdrop, but he turns it into a sunset flip, but only gets a two count. Wildside complaining about the count. I'll tell you one thing, Wildside better stay on James Kaiser. Oh, get him out of that corner, ref. He blocks it. He comes back with a couple shots now. And he headbutts him right into that top turnbuckle. Referee needs to step in though. Look at the nurses on the apron once again. Oh, back kick. And now once again being distracted by the nurse. He's chasing her outside the ring now. He should have stayed on top of Johnny Wildside. Oh no! Lovestruck just nailed James Kaiser. And now look at that, Lovestruck tosses him back in the ring. Referee turns around and finally sees Lovestruck back in the ring or I should say James Kaiser. And now look at this, a power bomb. One, but the foots are on the ropes. The foots are on the ropes. Oh no, I didn't see that. Here's your winner, Dr. Johnny Wildside. It's main event time here at the Battleground Series. We're gonna take a look at RCW Hall of Famer, the Mad Russian, managed by Johnny Glitter, as he squares off against Doink the Clown here in Birdsboro, Pennsylvania, 1997, 
at the Mega Brawl. Maybe the Mad Russian will... Oh! He got slingshotted into the ring. So he had no choice. And Doink the Clown is working away on the champion, the Mad Russian. A big body slam. A leg drop. We got to count. One, two, not yet. The Mad Russian is getting out of the ring once again. Things are not looking good for their champion in the Mid-Eastern Wrestling Federation as the Mad Russian and Johnny Glitter are claiming that the tights were pulled by Doink the Clown. And I can tell you this, I saw it from my vantage point, there was no tights being pulled. Mad Russian pointing to his head as to say that Doink pulled his hair, but I can tell you this, he didn't pull his hair either. Matter of fact, the Mad Russian doesn't even have hair to pull. Come on. And now Doink the Clown attacks the Mad Russian. And oh, there you go. What an elbow by the Mad Russian. Now you're going to see why this man has held the MEWF Championship for six long months. No one has been able to beat this man. And look at Johnny Glitter choking away on Doink the Clown. The referee is discussing whatever with the Mad Russian and Johnny Glitter already gets the shots in. Doink the Clown working away, but he just can't get a power game going. The Mad Russian, he was a power lifter in his country. Doink the Clown getting the USA chance. I don't know if that's a good idea because it's only making the Mad Russian more enraged and more brutal. Oh! Mad Russian with the cover. Doink the Clown in a lot of trouble right here. Oh, what a kick into the jaw by Doink the Clown and knocked his foot right into the gut. If it was any lower, the referee would have said something to him. Doink the Clown trying to make history here. Oh, Mad Russian with a nice shot. Six long months. This man has been unstoppable. Oh, what a miss. That was a mistake. A chop by Doink the Clown, and now Doink's on the apron, and he's gonna give him a couple shots. And look at this, right into the other corner, and once again, Doink the Clown gives it for this side of the crowd. Man almighty, Doink the Clown, little history on him. He's undefeated in the RCW, but he's also undefeated in the MEWF, and now he's getting his MEWF title shot. So Pinky, you might want to pay attention because you might have to wrestle Doink along the way. The Mad Russian back on top on Doink the Clown, reversal by the Clown, and we got a sleeper. Look at Doink, he's got a piece of Johnny Glitter. And he slate shots Glitter into the ring. And a shot to the top of the head. Johnny Glitter, you deserve everything you get right here and right now. We're gonna get a double Naga Naga. Bloop, goodbye Glitter. And look at this, one, two, it's over. We've got a new MEWF heavyweight champion, Doink the Clown. The Mad Russian has been defeated for the first time in his career. There's your new MEWF champion, and we'll be right back. Great main event right here at the Battleground Series, and so ends this episode. 
But you can join me again next week as we continue to talk about the Mega Brawl event from 1997 where we crowned the very first champion of regional championship wrestling. As I leave you this week, just make sure that you all stay together as one because we are all in this together right here on our planet and hopefully we can come to the end of this COVID-19 virus. For next week, I'm Ray Torres and we'll see you again at the Battleground Series.